Hi, I'm Sana, and today we're talking about confidence boosting fragrances when you need to bring your A game. First of all, I just wanted to say that if I come across a bit shaky today, that's probably because I got stuck in an elevator today. So um, I checked the box of one of my biggest fears and phobias, I guess. So that's out of the way and now I can almost go skydiving or something, you know. So let's jump into this video. When I was thinking about this list of five fragrances that really boost confidence, that help me personally, the first perfume that came to my mind is Atomic Rose by Nishio. This peppery rose garden with a touch of vanilla and an ambery base. It's so good, you guys. This is totally alpha in a bottle. You know, alpha vibe. It's sophisticated, it's chic, it's molecular, it's airy. Um, the rose feels very urban chic. Atomic Rose to me smells like a confident lady. She has a plan A, a plan B and a plan C under her sleeve. So you should mess with a person who wears Atomic Rose. The next perfume that comes to my mind when I think about the strong female go-getter vibe, I think about Lou Ponte by Cartier. This is a scent of a CEO. When she comes into the room, everybody knows she's a force to be reckoned with. You don't want to mess around the person who wears uh, Le Pontier by Cartier. I actually feel that Cartier perfumes, they all have a boss vibe about them. The main notes here are gardenia, lily of the valley, with this petriture after the rain smell, uh, white musk, and of course bergamot. I think I read somewhere that citruses and fragrances makes us more focused and we can um, be really focused and concentrated for a long period of time. I wear this fragrance all year round for meetings, office and sometimes even uh, Sunday brunch. This feels like a refreshing cold glass of champagne. It projects its long lasting and it gives this wonderful scent trail. Next up, golden. This is really golden. It's Tom Ford, Black Orchid, Parfum version. To me, this is a confident, extravagant and fierce person. Tom Ford, Black Orchid, uh, Parfum has this certainness from truffles the booze from the rum. There's also a plum and ylang ylang. If you already own the first edition, the black bottle, maybe this would be a bit redundant. But in my case, my boyfriend owns the black version and I have the gold, so I don't have to steal his bottle anymore. So I'm glad. You can never go wrong with Tom Ford fragrances, right? The next fragrance that I can suggest you to try is by Fort and Manley, an Australian brand. And it's called uh, Suleiman Le Magnifique. The bottle is just epic. This perfume is really for those occasions when you need to deal with people who doesn't, let's say, doesn't respect boundaries. And sometimes you need to come across as cold and standoffish. Mm, I would call this a cold bish perfume, definitely. This one uh, demands respect. I hear that elevator and you know, I get flashbacks from today. <sighs> this one is so hard to describe. Because again, here it's not about the notes, it's about the vibe. It's like Black Academia vibe. It's a bit witchy, a bit um, mean, I would say. This smells like that. Galbanum, uh, red apple, cinnamon, ambergris. 
I think there's also moss. And now imagine this concoction. It's a true verbal art, in my opinion. Also, the story of the fragrance is remarkable about uh, the Suleiman. Uh, maybe you're familiar with the Top Topkapi Palace in Istanbul. I have actually been there and there's gold and marble everywhere. Sandalwood by Theodorus Kalotinis. This, on the other hand, has a bit different vibe from the rest. Woody, um, aristocratic vibe perfume. Sleek and smart. There's oud, there's rock rose. There's also rum and sandalwood, of course. When I wear this fragrance, I feel grounded, I feel at peace, I feel like I'm in my Zen mood, but I'm ready to act. That's why I think this one is great for business meetings. It has a masculine vibe. But for instance, if you like Grand Soir by MFK, there's a big possibility you will like this one as well. Sandalwood to me has this quiet confidence. You know when people say that the most confident person in the room is the quiet one? This is how I see this perfume. And we all need these perfumes, you know? Because life, life is challenging sometimes. We need to utilize all the tools we can get to help us to move on, to survive sometimes, and to succeed, whatever that means to you personally. So this was it for today. This has been a crazy day. I think I've, I need a glass of uh, red wine. So I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for my next video. Thank you. Bye.